Welcome back. So previously we have seen how to set up AWS account. Now I'm going to show you how we can use services on AWS and we are going to start with a very common service name is EC2 and it stands for Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud but you can simply understand this is the service by which we can create virtual machines. So as we know this is the very very common service to be used because in many cases you will find virtual machines. Sometimes you will get virtual machines from the client side. Sometimes you will get virtual machines from your company for different type of testing. So that is a very common service we will work on. So I'm just going to my AWS account and I'll show you how we can use this EC2 service. And in this session, I'll create a new virtual machine of Unix or Linux. We are going to create a new instance, but as of now, we will not change many configuration. We'll take only default configuration. We have to set tags, generate key and start that VM. So I'll show you all these things step by steps. Let me just move to AWS account. Okay, here I am on aws.amazon.com. I'm going to log in. So sign into the console and as previously we have seen i'm logging as a root user my email id is testing word global at the red gmail.com putting this captcha value and my password once i logged in that is a dashboard here on the left hand side you will get services drop down you can check all these services which are given which are provided by amazon it's more than 165 services we can use here on amazon but as of now we are going to use very popular and common service with the name ec2 so either you can select it from here or you can simply go and search like ec2 i want to use ec2 so here it shows, okay, that's it. You want to create virtual servers in the cloud? Yes. So I just selected EC2. Okay. Here we are on the instances. If you want, you can go here on the EC2 dashboard and you, it will give you basic information about what all the instances you have created. What is the current status of that? But as of now, I do not have any, any instance. It is not showing any instance which is running and all. Instance, you can understand one virtual machine. So one instance means one virtual machine. As of now, I don't have any virtual machine. So I want to create a new ins instance. Means I want to create a new virtual machine. You simply go to this instances. As you go here, you will have to click on launch instances. So as we click on the launch instances, it will show you sample virtual machine images. You are going to get many virtual machine images over here some images are free to use because like we can use this one or at the bottom you'll find many other images which we can use in free account because as of now we have a free account so we can use only free images so let's check this checkbox it will show only the images which we can use in free account so as of now you can check we have total 17 virtual ima images which we can use while creating virtual machine I want to create a Linux machine or maybe I want to create Red Hat Linux machine. So you will get a lot of options over here and we have many options for Windows as well. But later on I'll show you how we can create Windows virtual machine. As of now I'm just creating a simple Linux 2 virtual machine. So that's my virtual machine. You just select it. So I'll just click on the select. Okay. As you select it shows these are the configuration you are having. Like you can have one CPU, one GB RAM, or you can have many other configuration. But for the free account, we have only one configuration to be used. So I can use this one CPU with one GB RAM. But if you have a paid account, you can create a virtual machine with many CPUs and I configuration RAM as well. But for now, because we are learning, so I'll just use only the free one. So I'm using this T2 Micro, which is a type of that machine. Here you are going to get one CPU and one GB 
memory okay i'll click on the next even we are not going to make any changes in the configuration but let's check few configurations so i'll just click on this as of now it shows you are going to create instance one yes for now we are not changing any details over here even later on we will check this subnet we will check this subnet public ip but for now i'm just keeping it same i just click on the next it shows as of now you have 8 gb storage you can change it as per your requirement as in our windows machine we have a hard disk let's say 160 gb or maybe 500 gb or 1 1 tb so in the same way it shows that is 8 gb you are going to get as a hard disk means as a as a storage you are going to get as of now i'm not going to change it i'll just keep it same click on next here we need to set tags it will be very important when we are going to have many virtual machines i would say many instances you can give tags like okay let's take an example you have total 30 machines 15 for developers and 15 for testers and today i want to check only the machines which are allocated to my testing team so how to search them you can create tags for that so i'm just creating a tag like okay tag key is machine type and the value is for testing you can give any value so that is a tag which we will use for for searching these machines for searching our instances as of now we just give one tag you can create any number of tags next next is security group which is very important sometimes you have noticed few machines you can access only through your office network or there are some machines you can access from anywhere so here you can set the security from where this machine can be accessed so here it shows this is the virtual machine it's on a linux environment when somebody want to connect it it will be connected through ssh using the tcp protocol your port would be this and from what all locations you want to access it you can select from anywhere you can select uh, from custom means you can give any specific IP over here or you can select okay it should be accessed from my IP only my IP means the system which I'm using right now so once I set my IP later on I can access this machine from my system only or if I set uh, custom so you can give IP from where this machine should be accessed as of now I'm just giving anywhere even it they are giving warning like it is not a good approach not a secured approach because anybody can access your machine from any location if they get the key later on we will understand the concept of key but it can be accessed from anywhere it is less secure as of now i'll just keep it like okay it can be accessed from anywhere review and launch as i click on the review and launch shows all those details like what we filled what all the changes we have done so it shows all details over here i found okay that's fine i want to create this machine just simply click on the launch as you click on the launch it will ask you to create a key by this key you can access your virtual machine so that is you can take it as a password because some, whenever we are accessing any virtual machine we need username and password i'll show you how to get username but this key can be considered as a password so I'm saying, okay, uh, create a new key pair and what is the name you want to give? So I'm saying VM access key. As you download, it will download a file with the extension .pem. So we need to download that file. Okay, that is, you can check it, VM access key .pem. File is downloaded. Once it is done, launch instances. As you launch instances, your instance is started. You can simply go to your service like EC2. Here you will get, okay, this is the instance you have created. Status of this VM is pending. It will take few minutes to ready this VM for usage. So it will take few minutes. We just need to refresh and check it. Once it will show that is ready to be used only after that we can use it okay so it shows the instance is running actually we need to check two 
columns one is instance state that is running here check status so here it should should display two by two means there are two status to be checked once it shows two by two only after that used it is ready to be used so still we need to wait i'm just waiting for this now i refresh and you will check two by two status passed means now this VM is ready to be used. Okay, let's click on this. As you click on this, it will show details of this VM. So, if you just go down, here it shows that is your instance ID. That's a public ID. So, this is the IP address, public IP. This is the IP address we are going to use while connecting this VM. And that's a private IP which will be used while connecting two different VMs. But as of now, we need to focus on this one, this one only. Or you can use this public DNS. So these are the things we are, we are going to use. And just scroll down. So it shows you have this platform and that's your virtual machine ID. Amazon virtual instance ID. And that's your machine name. So it shows complete information about the instance or the machine that you have created. It shows the complete information over here. So as of now, this mach machine is running and ready to be used. In next session, I'll show you how we can connect with this machine. But before ending this session, one very important thing I want to tell you, this machine is running. So your 750 hours are consuming over here. So whenever you are using the machine, when you are using the machine, virtual machine, you can keep it running. But if you're not using it, you can simply select and just stop the instance. So as you stop instance means now you are stopping this instance means you are not using it anymore. So it's always a good practice whenever you are using any instance, make it up. Once you com complete your task, just make it down. Else if you keep it running, it will consume your 750 hours very quickly. So that's a very important thing we have to understand. Okay, I have just stopped it. And if you just refresh, it shows instances stopped. So here we have created one instance means one virtual machine. In next session, I'll show you how we can connect with that virtual machine. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.